Hi, my name is John O'Melveny Woods, and I wanted to speak with you for a few moments about the Smart Meter Shield. But first I wanted to let you know how I found out about it. Because one day I came home, and these men were installing these new smart meters inside my house. I didn't think anything about it. I just said, oh, okay, new meter. But that night, a ringing started in my ear, and I thought, that's really odd. How could that be? So I thought about it and did some research, and all of a sudden I looked up these smart meters on the internet, and found out they're emitting EMFs all the time. So once I found that out, I created a shield to go over those meters. Now it's kind of amateurish, it was with foil and everything, but it worked. And so once I did that, I thought, there must be other people that have the same problem, can't sleep in the morning, waking up, anxiety, ringing in the ears, all of these symptoms are uh, uh, associated with EMFs. So I met Holly Mannion, and we invented the Smart Meter Shield. Now the Smart Meter Shield is a three-part system, and when you put them all together, they will greatly, greatly reduce the EMFs that are coming off of these Smart Meters. The first part of the uh, Smart Meter Shield is this aluminum uh, reflector that is uh, riveted together, and it goes over the Smart Meter. So basically, you have the Smart Meter here, it just slides over the top, nothing big deal, just leave it there. That alone will reduce the EMFs quite a bit. But there's another part that is just as important. And that is because the smart meter is omnidirectional. It'll send EMFs in all directions. So even though this goes around the smart meter and knocks off a lot of it, uh, to where the smart meter is facing outward, you've got the inside of your house to worry about. So then, what we did was we invented this plate. And this plate is of aluminum, it's dual parts of aluminum with a, uh, with a filling in between. And this goes behind the meter. Now, when I say behind the meter, I don't mean you know, directly behind the meter where it is. What I mean is, is that if the meter is right here, then what we want to do is put it behind the wall. So that would mean it goes behind the wall. Now, it could be in your house, the smart meter, it could be in your garage. But wherever it is, you put it behind the meter and this stops all of the EMFs coming from behind the meter from going into your house. Now that's the second part. The third part is this box that we have here. And this is the last part. As you notice, it's a box and it has one opening from the box. That's what you use to aim the EMFs away from your house. So um, if you have a meter here and the street is there, then you leave this part here open and you stick this over the meter. But I've really got to caution you, what's most important about this is this green grounding wire. It's based on the Faraday principle, and the Faraday principle is that uh, the aluminum will capture the EMFs coming off of the meter, but they've got to go somewhere. I remember a story where Mark Twain put 40 uh, lightning rods on his house, and he said every bit of lightning for 100 miles came and hit his house. And the reason being is because all of those lightning rods were grounded so that it, the electricity would hit it, but it would go to the ground. And it's the same way with these boxes. You, the electricity, uh, the EMS hit the box, and they go through the wire, and they go to the ground. So you ground out the, uh, this and also the back plate that I just showed you a few minutes ago. So when you put these three things in conjunction over your smart meter, you're doing quite a bit to greatly reduce the EMFs that affect you every day because of these meters. And I would invite you to go to the website, smartmetershields.com, where you can learn more about it. And thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.